Hello, hello, happy Monday. Woohoo! Happy day before uh Valentine's Day. Yes, Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's go over here and click everything. How's everyone doing today? Did you have a good weekend? Um, you know, this weekend I wasn't I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about the Super Bowl because I don't want to upset anyone, but personally, <laughs> I'm on cloud nine. Not because I'm a Chiefs fan, but because the Eagles lost. I'm sorry, there I said it. Okay, there I said it. Uh, anyway, let's just make sure everyone else is going. Other than that, have you ever had one of those days where you know you have a lot of stuff to do and, you know, a limited amount of time to do it, but you sit there and you procrastinate anyway? <laughs> Can I get an amen? Am I the only one? Because that's what happened. That happened to me today. I didn't even finish putting on all my jewelry. I don't have my necklace on. I don't have my stack on. Like, I'm lucky that I even have, like, my actual outfit on today. So, anyway, I hate when I do that. I, I woke up in plenty of time, and I just goofed off and, you know, whatever it is. Sip your coffee for too long. Sit on, scroll on social media for too long. Like, whatever it is. I, I do that. I'm very guilty of that. I'm a procrastinator. But anyway, hello. Welcome to my live. Happy Monday. Whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay, I am so glad you're here. My name's Angela Hoffman. I'm the owner and founder of That Crazy Handbag Lady which is your home for affordable luxury shopping. I specialize in the resale of luxury, authentic, authentic luxury items from your favorite luxe designers, such as Louis Vuitton, Prada, Gucci, Hermes, Tiffany, Chloe, Marc Jacobs, uh, and so on and so on. <laughs> I am currently streaming on several platforms at once, including my mobile app, my website, my Facebook page, my Instagram, YouTube, and with a second device, TikTok. If you are new to shopping with me, the absolute best place to be a part of the lives and just to stay on top of all my content is to download my mobile app. You can shop on my mobile app 24-7. You can access replays of the lives. You can obviously join the lives while they're happening. Uh, but basically, you just have access 24-7. You don't have to wait until you, know, you get to a laptop or whatever. You can literally just pull your phone out or your electronic device out of your purse, out of your, you know, satchel or whatever, and you can just access uh, shopping anytime, throw in your AirPods and you can listen to the lives or just don't listen, don't put your AirPods in, just play it, whatever, it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, yes, yeah, so the point is, download my mobile app. It is called That Crazy Handbag Lady and it is in the App Store and also the Google Play Store, okay? So uh, walk, don't run to your nearest App Store and download my mobile app today. And then make sure once you actually download the app that you do enable your push notifications. I will not spam you with push notifications, okay? I usually, I wouldn't send more than one a day and I don't even usually do it every day. It's usually just the days before my lives, but <clears throat> the most would be once a day. Anyway, and you can always turn it off if you want to, it's no big deal. If you um, are new to shopping with me or you're, you're tuning in from TikTok or Facebook or wherever, Please let me know that you're new, that you're watching for the first time. I would love also to know where you're watching from, what state. Literally, my tribe spans across the whole U.S. And, um, hey, wait, wait, what? Oh, oh, <laughs> Tina girl. Now, I ain't no Amazon Prime, but I am located in Delaware, and that's where I ship from. So, typically, um, I, and I usually ship priority unless... You're on the West Coast or you're in the South. And, oh, Texas, what's up? Okay, I was about to say Texas. Um, it's you. I usually send ground to Texas, depending on the weight and whatnot, just because um, it's expensive to ship from Delaware to Texas and Delaware to the West Coast. So normally it's U.S. Post, I mean, it's a priority, but um, it could also be ground. So anyway, California, what's up, Tracy? How are you? But anyway, Tina, I'm glad you're here. Be sure that you guys are actually following my tribe and the way to access all my content, including downloading my mobile app, is to go to the bio, I mean, sorry, go to my bio and click that link. That link is like a table of contents and it will take you to, um, you know, a, a list of choices, whatever you want to do, whatever platform you want to access, downloading my mobile app. Also, consider opting in for live sale text alerts. That is really the most convenient. I like push notifications, but I love text alerts. I really do. So be sure that you do that. You can opt in with that link I told you that's in my bio, or you can text the word VIP 
to this phone number. Ready? 360 300 5308. Okay? 360 300 5308. Uh, send the word or text the word VIP and that way you just opt in for text alerts and once again I don't spam you you can unsubscribe at any time if you get annoyed but typically you could expect one a day again normally it's like th you know just um, three times a week but sometimes I am trying to amp that up to at least once a day anyway <laughs> uh, oh I was also gonna say okay hold on let me just finish my spiel because I have a spiel I know you're asking questions Tina and I am gonna answer some of them with my spiel okay sorry just bear with me for just a second uh, but anyway yes if you're new wave at me let me know you're new let me know what state you're watching from my normal live schedule is every Monday Wednesday Friday at noon Eastern time I am located in and shipped from the tiny little state of Delaware but don't be fooled. I am a native Texan. I love Texas. I believe Texas. Texas forever. And um, if you watch the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes is from Tyler. Tyler is near Dallas. So Dallas might as well, might as well just say that Dallas won the Super Bowl. So Cowboys won the Super Bowl. <laughs> um, I've been kind of giving my Eagles, my Eagles friends up here a hard time because they're all in mourning. They're all licking their wounds today. And that's fine. But um, I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. So I am located in Chiffon Day, State of Delaware. But I am native Texan. Okay, I love Texas. I believe Texas. Texas forever. Okay, if you are an OG tribe member, oh, okay, oh, let's see. If you're an OG tribe member, welcome back. Or on your way to being an OG tribe member, welcome back. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you are just, you know, if you're new to me or maybe you're just watching me for the first time today, Maybe you're scrolling through social media and I don't know, I came up on for your page. Um, a special welcome to you. Please stay a minute, okay? I really am, um, you know, well, okay, so fine. I'm not calm. But uh, just hang out for a minute and just see what I'm about and then consider joining my tribe. Um, I was on TikTok the other day scrolling and there are now so many people doing um, luxury items. In fact, I did come across a page the other day. Y'all, they're straight up selling counterfeit items. I reported them. I don't know what's going to come of it, but it was, and it's, I don't know how they even knew that I were, I don't know what they knew because I never commented or anything, but they did block me, but not before I screenshot their page and turn them in. But there are so many people. You do have to be very leery of who you're going to do business with. I understand that. I do have a five-star rating on Google and on Facebook. If you go to my website and click on reviews, you will see all the reviews of people and their experience and whatnot. Um, I did get my first three star <laughs> on my website and it's because the, per the person purchased a Kiss Lock wallet. You know, the Kiss Lock is the one that has the, uh, let me show you. The Kiss Lock has this kind of, you know, well, this one actually isn't Kiss Lock, but it's similar, you know, like you go like this. And she said she, she gave me a three star because it was too hard. It was too hard to get open, okay? I don't know how to respond. I'm not, I, I can't. Okay. Anyway. Um, I don't know how I got it. Oh yeah. So the point is though, is I do have a uh, stellar reputation and, um, take that very seriously and I'm glad you're here and I want you to know that you're in good hands. And so there you go. How do you shop live? Okay. Well, if you're watching from my website or my mobile app, you can shop live. Like you can see all the list of items over on part of your screen, or if you're on the mobile app, you see it on the bottom and you can shop just like live. You can add stuff to your cart right away as soon as I show it. Um, everything behind me is on my website and on my mobile app. Everything does have a presentation associated with it. Usually in the description of said item, I will tell you what date I showed it. And then you would just go to the live shopping replays, find that date, and then you can watch the presentation. That way you never actually have to watch the live from start to finish. You can just watch what you're interested in. It's totally fine. As far as uh, the flow of the show, okay, so again, just going back to kind of my reputation and whatnot, just so you know, everything that you see here is 110% authentic. You are in good hands. Again, I do have a um, stellar reputation on Google and on Facebook. I take it very seriously. I, I personally do not support the black market. I don't, I don't, it's illegal to sell counterfeit items. I don't do it. Okay, if you purchase those items yourself, if you're cool with it, fine, cool. Do you? That's fine. I don't do that here, okay? Um, if you want to get your item authenticated, then you have that option to do that for my website. There is an option through, well, just search authentication and then choose your option and you can do that. 
Um, or you can take the pictures that are on my website, send it to your favorite authenticator, and you can get your stuff authenticated that way, no problem. But anyway, just know that I, you know, again, this is, I am in my seventh year, going to be starting my eighth year pretty soon. And I work with a very small group of sources and I've been with them for this whole time. And I don't, I mean, just you're in good hands. Okay. I don't really know what to tell you, but do your research. If you search me personally, Angela Hoffman or that crazy handbag lady, don't take my word for it. Take the word of my tribe. Okay. That they, the reviews speak for themselves, except for the gal that um, was annoyed that she couldn't get the kiss lock open. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, also, um, I do typically only present about 10 items, not about 10 items. I like to keep the shows pretty uh, short just because out of respect for your time and my time. And so I just try to just do the 10 items, okay? Uh, the prices that you see do include shipping, and I do ship in the U.S. only, and no fussy buyers. Okay, so see, if, if, if you're going to leave me a review with um, a low star count because you can't get a zipper open or it's too hard or whatever, you're a fussy buyer, okay? Fussy buyer is someone who cannot completely understand and maybe appreciate what pre-loved means. Um, it does not mean brand new, okay? There are gonna be signs of wear. I have started updating every item and I'm still kind of in the process of doing it, but I do have a chart of the categories that I use for my items. There's five categories. It's really self-explanatory and I've started updating all of my items with that chart in the description so you can see it, but you can also access it under the shopping tab. You'll see it. So that way you kind of know like what does the grading mean because every reseller, including the big boys like Tradesy and, and Fashion File and all those, they, everyone uses their own like system. So I know it can be a little bit confusing. So I try to keep it pretty simple with just keeping it down to five categories. And I know you're like, wait, that's not simple. It really is though, because one of the categories is pristine and very rarely are pre-owned items in pristine condition. I mean, they are, it does exist, but it's, it's not, I don't hand that out to just every item. Most of the items that I show you are going to be a B plus. Now there's a few that are a B there's some that are B and B minus if it has like some issue, but typically, Oh yeah, that's what I was going to add. Okay. I did need to add one thing. Hold on. Let me just edit. Let me do and add something because I almost forgot. Hold on one second, please. In a momento, por favor. Okay. Okay, please be on there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a couple of things that you probably have seen. If you watch me religiously, then um, you've probably seen these things. But if you don't watch religiously, you may be seeing them for the first time. Oh, <laughs> but before I do that, let me say hello to my OGs. We got Miss Mona Lisa. How you doing, girl? And Miss Kim, and Miss Nikki, and Megan. Hi, ladies. How are y'all? You're the only ones that are actually saying something, but I know that there are some other folks on here. It's cool. Not everybody can say everything. Again, if you're on TikTok, please wave, okay? Tell me what state you're watching from. I know Miss Tina is watching from Texas, and oh, wait, there's another gal that was from California. Who was it? Tracy. Tracy's from California. I hope you are still here. Um, okay. Anyway, so I do have several items that are on consignment that came in to show you. So that's super exciting. But the first thing I'm going to show you now, of course, you're not going to get this item in time for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. And that's partly the reason why I'm wearing my velvet red uh, jacket today. That's part of it. The other is to celebrate um, the win of the Chiefs. And again, the Chiefs are not my, my devotion, okay? My devotion is the Cowboys. I was born a Cowboys fan. I will die a Cowboys fan. I was, I'm from Texas, so naturally I'm a Cowboys fan. Naturally. Uh, <laughs> and if you saw, well, it doesn't matter. But um, my second favorite team is anyone playing the Eagles. I'm just saying, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to step on you little toesies. But um, so, yeah, I'm a little on cloud nine over um, the Chiefs. It was a good game. It was a good game. Okay, I'm not going to talk that because I really don't talk football. I'm actually not like a sports freak, but I was like, I was, I was this season. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, this is a Salvatore Ferragamo bifold wallet. It is all leather. It's black. It is, um, of course it could be, it's unisex. I mean, now this is going to be typically if you're, I don't know, middle age like me, you're probably just going to remember that you're going to associate this style with probably some, you know, your dad or your granddad or somebody like that. This is 
traditionally a men's wallet. Okay. Because it's just, I don't know. It's just like all the men in my life that I remember growing up, uncles and dad and granddad and all that. They all had a wallet like this, like a bifold. Um, I, I didn't really see, I mean, but you could use it as a, um, overflow. I mean, you know, it could obviously just be, there's so many different other things you could do. And it is all leather and it does have the Ferragamo um, logo on it. See, it's printed all over. And so you can see there's some, there's some fading, not fading, scuffing. It's basically scuffing. But here's the deal. This is all leather. So it is so easy to touch up all other items, especially black. Okay. You could use black shoe polish. Um, I recommend Kelly's shoe cream. Okay. It comes in a, a ton of colors. Um, and if you don't want to just, if you're like, okay, well, I'm not going to get six colors. Okay, cool. Don't, but get black. If you, if you normally carry black or brown, get those staple colors and they have a color called neutral and it'll go on any color and it actually just brings everything to life. So even if you just wanted to get neutral, you could do that. So see, look here. Uh, but everything on this looks good. There's not anything major going on. Okay. I'm just going to look and see if there's any pop stitching. Yeah, I don't see. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I don't really see any pop stitching down here in the corner. All I see is some, just some scuffing. Okay. And that's, that's really going to be it. Okay. I'm just looking around. Let's just go around the whole thing. So here's the, the top on here. You can see, can we show you in the TikTok camera? All right. There's the side there. It's very common to have some signs of wear right here on all these wallets. You know, this is actually, it looks a little more like there's something going on in the, it's so funny. I show it up in the camera and it looks like, it really does look like five times worse than it actually is. It's really fine. <laughs> it looks like there's more going on there, but there's not, there's really not. And then here's the bottom. Okay. Bottom is the same way. Just some scuffing here. Um, pretty minor overall, nothing major going on here. Nothing major going on there. See, let's turn it over, go this way, right there, right there, right there. Okay, open it up, booyah. Okay, so there's your Salvatore Ferragamo stamp, okay? And you got one, two, three, four card holders on either side, plus you have a peekaboo pocket here, and the inside of that is, <coughs> what is that? Oh, it's leather, okay. And there's your Made in Italy stamp right here, Made in Italy. Okay, so anyway, you have the four, one, two, three, four. Is that right? Yeah. So four on either side plus the peekaboo. So that's going to be 10, 10 cards total. Plus you have two slots up here. Okay. You have this one and all of the inside. Well, this part here is leather. That part here is like, um, a thin, it looks like, no, that is textile. That's not, well, the whole thing. No, no, not the whole thing. This side of it is like a very thin material. The other side of it is leather. Okay. And then of course you have leather on this side. So you do have first time, I mean, two options here. First time, I was reading a comment over here that says first time watching. And I said, you do have first time. Oh, hello. Okay. So yeah, you can use this as an overflow or if you, <coughs> excuse me, are wanting to introduce somebody to, maybe you have a teenage son, maybe you have a college age son, maybe you have a college age brother, um, brother-in-law, I don't know, whatever it is, grandson. And you want to introduce them to luxury, but you don't want to break the bank because you don't know if they're going to be responsible. Like, you don't know. So this is a good item because the price of it, by the way, is only, oh, i got to join my own live to access. Okay. Okay. Salvatore Ferragamo, all leather. And here, let's see. Join now. Oh, let's make sure that I muted myself. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. It's $119. What? Like, are you serious? $119 for an all leather bifold black leather wallet. And again, use it for yourself. Use it for, you know, as well, I meant for you, I'm speaking to women. Use it for yourself as an overflow or whatever, but also it could be for that special means in your life. Okay. All right. Next up is basically a cousin of the bifold wallet and it's so cute look it is actually a little leather coin case it's also it's the same family it's just like a little cousin it's a family member of the bifold so here's the bifold this is the little cousin and it's the coin case but it doesn't have to just be a coin case that's what it's called that's what it says but um i want to show you some other options let me just get this out okay so this is what it looks like in the front 
Now this definitely can be something that you could use for overflow. Again, it's all black leather and it's embossed with or stamped, you know, with the logo and whatnot. And really the sides of it, look, the sides of it look really good. The glazing's not too rubbed off on here. And then I'm just looking like at the corners. Yeah, see everything on here looks, everything is still intact. Okay, let's go to the back. There's that. I'll show you on the other camera too. There. Now on the back of it, this is the back. It has a slip pocket. And the inside of it is, so this side here is like a cloth like, but the part on the inside is the leather. Okay, so yeah, you you can get one card. I have one card. Uh, let me see if it fits two cards. I mean, I, I don't personally, I don't like to like, okay, yeah, you can do two. I would not do more than two cards on the back because you don't want to be stretching it out. That's what's going to cause all the pop stitching. So you don't want to do that. So I would say two cards. You can put that here on the back. This can be a grab and go little wallet. Let's just say that, um, now see, even the two, look, <laughs> even the two, the two cards might be a stretch. So, okay, fine. Maybe just the one card. It does fit two cards, but I guess just because you can <laughs> doesn't mean you should. All right, yeah, let's just do one card. See, look, because that's easy. Your ID. Boom, done. Okay, yeah, that's, that's much better. Okay, um, a grab-and-go little piece for if you're carrying, let's just say you're carrying a clutch, okay? You're, any clutch, and you don't need your full-size wallet. You absolutely do not need your full-size wallet. That is fine, okay? You can use this little piece. You can grab this little guy. Hold on, I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, sorry. Okay. You can grab this little guy and just throw your ID in the back. And then over here on the inside, look, you have Fer Salvatore Ferragamo, made in Italy, stamped right there in the back. But it comes open like this, it comes open like a little, like a, like a box, you know what I mean? And okay, so of course you can put coins in here if you want. I think it's weird. To, I mean, okay, I know some of y'all probably use it as coin cases and you're like, is that weird? Okay, fine. For me, I think it's weird that I'm going to find, because I, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really like to carry a bunch of coins. It's heavy. It'll junk up the inside of whatever it is. Now, I do have coins in my wallet, but within reason, if it starts to get out of control, I'll put them in my coin jar, you know, and then I'll take the coin jar to coin star. <laughs> you like that? I'm a poet and didn't even know. It. Okay, so the stamp of oh, the stamp. The snap is snappy. That's got some green residue on it. In case you were wondering, the green residue is a sign of authentication because it's uh, oxidation, you know, from that brass. I know I'm a scientist. Okay. But anyway, I was just going to show you, if you have a card here, it's not like you can put a card flat in here. So let's just say that you needed it. You're not sure if, you know, um, okay, let's say, say you go into the club, say you go into a club, and you just need a little something to put in your clutch, okay? So you've got your ID in the back because you most likely are going to have to show your ID because you're going to have to show them that you're old enough to be buying some adult beverages, okay? But then you have um, your actual debit card or something on the inside, <coughs> excuse me, on the inside, but it's, and you, I'm just saying like, you're probably going to need your ID because you're going to be showing that, but then your um, your other card can be in there. I don't know. It's It's... It's really awkward. I don't even know that I would use this for any kind of like card or coin or anything. Hey, Miss Donna, I'm thinking like a little jewelry case. That's what I'm thinking. You know, like some earrings, some rings, small little thing. Now, that I can do. Like that, totally I can I can get behind that. But I'm sure there's lots of other little ideas that I'm not even thinking of that if you're thinking of something, go ahead and mention it, okay? Because I know it's not limited to what I'm saying. Like you definitely can do some some other things here. Okay. And um, again, it is all leather. So it's easy to clean, easy to touch up. You can just, you know, put some shoe polish on that or some leather dye, whatever it is, you can, you can do that. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, that's what I was thinking, Megan. Like if you just needed to have something just in your, in your pocket, something small, you know, that actually would be a good piece to take to um, an event. Okay. Cause you're not going to be any kind of event, if you're going to a major, like a sporting event or something like that, and you don't really need to be getting your cards in and out, you know, like you could use that. And that's, she's right. You could just put that in your wallet and whatever. Um, okay. This next piece. And honestly, I don't understand how in the heck and heck is even still here because this is such, this is the coolest piece. It's literally in B plus condition. It's all leather. It is the 
Louis Vuitton Damier Infini Soft Case. So it's all solid black leather. And look at it. It's so it's textured. So you can you can feel the difference. Like you can feel all the little squares, but then in within the squares, you can feel that stamp. You can feel this this stamp here, and then the the smooth, like you can feel it all. Okay. Now this will fit a 10.2 inch iPad. Okay. 10.2 um, inch iPad. And I also have mentioned that if you're a reader, okay, and you like having an actual book and all that, this is a great book cover. Like you can put your book in here. And if you're, if you're one of those that likes to make notes, you could put your pencil and your highlighter, you can put all that in here. And this goes with you either in your daily bag, if you carry a bigger daily bag, uh, because here's the thing, if you have a book with you and you start putting your book in your bag, What's going to happen to that book? Like what inevitably will happen in that book to that book? Okay. It comes, it starts to open. The pages are exposed. Stuff gets in between them. The pages get bent. Like it turns into a hot mess. So this is definitely a thing that you can put, you know, you can use it for multi, multi-purpose. It's a multi-purpose item. Okay. Put your book in here and that way you're just putting this in here and it's streamlined, it's streamlined. But look at it. It's there's no scuffs or anything going on. Okay. Or you know what? Maybe um you're getting your kid a new iPad or whatever, and I don't know, they're in college, or maybe they just graduated from college or whatever, and this is a nice gift, and they can choose however the heck and heck they want to use it. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, but anyway, the Damier Infini Soft Case, and the price of it is. Hang on, where's that at? It's $5.79. $5.79, solid black. So it's not that dark, it's not blue black. Like it actually is black, okay? All right, next up, next up. Now we're gonna get into the newer items. I say newer, ones that you haven't seen yet, that's what I mean. Okay, so this item came in for consignment. It is a Speedy 35. Bando, okay, Speedy 35 Bando. Remember on consignment items, if you or maybe if you've never heard me tell you about consignment items. So consignment items are final sale, no exceptions, okay, no cancellations. So if you buy it and then you're like, oh snap, what did I just do? And then you message me, oh can I cancel it? That's a cancellation. No, once you have completed your transaction and you get a confirmation, an order number, and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's it. You could stick a fork in it. It's done. Anything from there is not, there's nothing. Okay. Nothing. Um, it does come with a padlock except for there's no key. Okay. So it's going to be stuck over here and that's that. Okay. Now it is in B plus condition. Um, I want you to look at the piping. The piping on this bag is amazing. It's still kind of, you know, how sometimes on the speedy bags, the canvas will just sort of mold around the, the piping. I don't know why it does that, but anyway, it's not scuffed at all. It's still pretty light. Like the, the patina of this bag is still going to be a, a, like a honey color. Okay. And actually the strap is even a little bit lighter than the rest of the bag. Cause I don't think that sometimes people, I think people sometimes think they want a bandeau, but they don't actually use the bandeau part, you know, the strap, they just still carry it normally, or uh, maybe they don't carry it all the time anyway. But this is the, this is the front and back of the first side. Look at this. Okay, and then this piece here is still really nice. And then, of course, your D-ring. You can polish this up. It looks a little tarnished, but honestly, you can totally polish that up. Now, let's look at the other side. The other side, this is where your heat stamp is. There's your heat stamp. Same thing. Look at this piping. This piping is amazing. Okay, it's even. It's not scuffed. It's not um, exposed. Like, it's literally really nice. Now, I put the date code in the uh, description. Let me tell you what it is though. This is from 2013. Okay. 2013. So it's not that old and it definitely hasn't been used very much. Here's the chaps. Look at them. They are amazing. They're still really nice. Still really shiny. The rivets are shiny. The chaps are still really light. This is like really, really bright. It's still very bright. Everything on this is bright. The chaps are nice and secure too. No pop stitching, no loose threads. No ratchet glazing. Look, the glazing is all nice and smooth on here. Okay. Glazing here, here. Looks good. Okay, so this is, because it is a little bit newer style, 
Um, it does have the dual zipper, so here we go. I'm just going to show you the zipper. Zipper smooth. I mean, you can always run some wax paper across it at any time, but it's, it's still pretty smooth. And there's your two zipper pulls. Okay, you can. Um, well, okay. First of all, the padlock does have a number on the bottom of it. It's 309. You can try to track that down. Okay, you can jump on eBay. Um, you could jump on Tradesy. I mean, you can just do an intercept search of how to get your, you know, how to find the. Uh, lock and sometimes people are really successful okay i'm going to show you the strap in a minute here is the inside so uh it does have a d-ring on this side see d-ring here other side has the pocket it's not the zipper pocket though it's right before they did that and the inside is coated so you could wipe all that out it's really nice and then of course your date code is right there okay date code and then um, I will tell you that there is like a, it looks like an, some sort of oil-based stain. Of course, you don't see anything from this side because this is coated canvas and you don't see anything. But from the inside, you can see that there's some sort of oil-based stain there. Okay. And actually, you know what? I don't know if it's oil-based. So you can try to spray that out and kind of scrub it out with a toothbrush, you know, or some sort of soft brush, soft bristled brush. It looks darker in this camera than it actually is in person. I know you're looking at it going, oh, snap, what? It really and truly is not super dark, okay? I mean, it's noticeable, but always in these videos in the camera, <laughs> it looks it looks darker and more intense than it is. And it's really not, it really isn't. Um, Speedy 35 to me is a very happy medium size. If you like big bat, if you lean and gravitate to bigger bags, Okay, it's um, but maybe you're not you don't do bags like with a ton of real estate, right? You just want something that's kind of still somewhat modest. I don't know that I would call a Speedy Thirty Five modest bag though. Speedy Thirty Five was my favorite, was my first bag. A Speedy Thirty Five was not a Bando, just a regular, and um, that it actually was before I knew there was a forty. I did not know there was a forty until after I had purchased my Thirty Five, and then started being a part of some of the Facebook groups. And then so and I was like, wait, what? And so then I immediately sold my 30. Well, I kept it for a while because it was sentimental. But then I got over that and I got me a 40. And a 40 is a big mama. It's like 16 inches wide. It's it's my jam. OK, the this one is like 14, a little over 14 or something. Um, and, but yeah, Kim's right. If if you do not like. OK, here's a couple things. So a lot of people don't like um, that it sags when you put stuff in it. So one thing that would serve two purposes is just a base shaper. A base shaper, if you didn't want to get clear and you thought that this little stain in here was an eyesore, get a base shaper. The base shaper gives you shape on the base, but also covers up that stain, and then you don't ever notice it. And then, like Kim mentioned, you can just throw an organizer in here, and that way you never see it. So the point is that that particular blemish is honestly fine. I'm going to have to tell you to get over it, okay? It really is fine. Out of all the things that could be wrong with the bag, that's all you're in good you're in good shape okay um anyway what, what was i saying okay so it does have the lock dual and everything is still pretty shiny too <coughs> um inside has that stain here's the here is the strap though look at the strap the strap is still really shiny it's got these kind of swivel hooks here see and again it doesn't have um the, the patina is still really light and it looks like okay yeah so you could actually take it apart it has like the extender type like you can take it see it's got the two buckles so you could do an extender i forgot how it all works but anyway there's a way where you basically can extend it or take one piece off and then it could be a little bit shorter um this is going to help you well you could actually adjust this over here let's put it down to that lowest size and that way you could actually wear it as a crossbody there it's a little bit longer okay and so you can let me just model it for you i used to not be a fan of the bandos but now i just felt like it took away from the classic look of the speedy bag but they really have grown on me as i like to have hands-free bags okay so it's on the longest setting on well actually not on both sides on this side it's still on the shortest setting but this is still pretty long i'm five six so now you're looking at carrying it over your shoulder and again, this is not on the longest setting on both on both buckles, just the one buckle. Okay, but even as a crossbody, this is for me, this is a Goldilocks like length. Okay, because it's just right here, it's right below my waist, it's not under my bosom, like it's just perfect. 
and then I can get into it without a problem. I can push it to the back if I need to. Like it's literally a perfect drop for me. Okay. And um, again, if you gravitate to big bags and you're, you know, you still, you're like, well, I don't really know. Is the Speedy 35 like actually big? Yeah, it's a roomy bag. It's definitely a roomy bag. It's probably a little more containable than a Speedy 40. Um, plus a Speedy 40 Bando can be kind of heavy just because you have, um, they're, you know, you have all that leather, but anyway, I still do like it. Megan, you have the Speedy 40 Bando, don't you? What do you think? You think it's too heavy? You could speak up and tell me what, what you think about the size, but, um, anyway. Okay. So again, it's consignment. All sales final on this. Uh, the price of it is going to be $15.99, $15.99. Um, it is a 2013. It comes with a padlock, no key, no dust bag, final sale. And yeah. And that's it y'all. That's it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's go to the next item today. So that was that. You saw that. Okay, next item up for consignment, or that came in on consignment, is an Alma PM. Now, again, don't let, this is another example of you don't want to let the PM throw you off in thinking it's going to be a super small bag. It's really going to be similar to like a Speedy 30, like in between like a Speedy 30 and a Speedy 35. Now, what did I do with it? Um, I literally just had it. Okay. Okay, I think I must have left it out here. Stand by for one second. Okay, so Alma PM, Alma PM, and okay, yeah, so Megan actually does love her Speedy 40, but the Bando, uh, but Megan loves big bags, see, that's the thing, if you're a big bag gal, then you're like in hog heaven, it's just, you are, okay, so anyway, Alma PM, but don't be thinking like, it's PM, oh, it must be small, it's really not that small, it, I mean, it is definitely going to be like a Speedy 30 family, okay, maybe slightly bigger, different silhouette, obviously. There's two different styles. There's the one like this that does not have the little, what I call cathedral hardware, okay? Cathedral hardware is this, and it's on this bag, and I'll, <clears throat> I am showing this bag. Cathedral hardware looks like this. It has this little piece up here at the top, and it looks like a cathedral, okay? That's why I call it that. <clears throat> if you hear anyone else using that term, they got it from me, just so you know. Not that it matters, but um, yeah. Anyway, this one does not have that cathedral hardware. It just is like a satchel arm carry only. Okay. Um, the date, oh, date code. I put the date code in the description. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to see it to tell you. Oh yeah, I am. Wow. This is from 1993. Okay. This is from, I graduated in 92. <laughs> so this is like, 1993 it looks great for being a 1993 wow um you have not you have amazing early 90s canvas which is just any of the vintage canvas in my opinion in the 90s is amazing it just i don't know it's super hardy super hardy um it does have the rolled handles there is a little bit of like water staining right there okay on it right here it's not major um and because it already has kind of a sheen to it I, you know what, I would not spend a whole lot of time like cleaning it, okay? Like I would just maybe focus on just conditioning it a little bit because, so here's the thing about consignment bags. Consignment bags have someone, you know, someone sends them to me to sell on their behalf and they almost have always, wait, they've almost always already done the work. They've already cleaned it, they've already conditioned it. So this one in particular, um, and also that Speedy Bando that I just showed you, they're ready to go. Okay, like they're ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, um, the only thing this one I would say to do to it is to get some mink oil or uh, beeswax or leather solve or whatever and just get it on your finger and do this and just kind of like condition those corners. But that's it. Like that's really, hold on, let me show you the TikTok camera over here. Okay, looky, looky. So that's all I'm talking about. Like just, it's got some dry spots. Nothing's exposed. Look at the bottom of it though. 
Have you seen such a nice smooth bottom of, <laughs> of an out? Look at it. <laughs> it has a nice sheen to it. Oh, MG. There's not even really any water. No, there's not any water stains on it or like liquid stains. Looks amazing. It really does. Okay. Yeah. So I would say, and even this part has a nice sheen to it. It's nice and like, well, it's got a sheen to it. It's not matte. Okay. But you could definitely get to get some uh, leather salve on your finger and condition each corner and that'd be fine. But look at the chaps too. The chaps are nice and strong and everything too about the patina is even. Okay. You have a little stain on this other, on the side over here, right there. Okay. Just showing you that everyone needs to know. Wait, hold on. I got some messages over here. I don't know. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. I do have some people on TikTok. I'm sorry that I, I hope you're still here. Um, okay. So I have one person just really quick on <coughs> TikTok asking me if I have any Gucci coin pouches. Um, easiest thing to do is to pop over to my website or my mobile app, search Gucci, and you'll see everything that I have. I do have some pouches. <coughs> I don't think I have any coin pouches though. I think I just have, I know I have some key, like key cases and then on, and then like some little toiletry type bags. But yeah, go to my website or go to my mobile app and search Gucci and you'll see everything that I have. Uh, Janice, yes, everything is 110% authentic. I know that there's lots of sellers on TikTok and they all say that. Um, I do have a five-star rating on Google and on um, Facebook. And if you search that crazy handbag lady or me personally, you will see, don't take it from me. You can hear it from my tribe. And then also if you look at the, click on the review tab, on my website and you'll see the reviews of everyone else so you are definitely in good hands for sure um also janice yeah the so the description on tiktok is just a view only the best experience is going to be downloading my mobile app or if you just want to pop over to safari or google chrome or whatever you're watching from and um just go to my website and you can access the live that way and you can see the description and what i mean is you won't see the description during the live, but like I upload all of the items with the pictures and in that description, you can see when I've noted the date code or, you know, whatever. So anyway, it's, it's much easier if you're watching from my mobile app or uh, website. Okay. Anyway, um, 1993, it is a dual zipper and look, the hardware is actually still pretty shiny. It is a dual zipper. One thing I really like about the Alma is that when you unzip it all the way down, Oh, wait, let me show your heat stamp. Hold on. Heat stamp. All right. Oh, it's under here. Here we go. Okay. See, there's your heat stamp. But yeah, what I like about the Almas is like when you open it and it zips all the way down, you have this little piece right here. And that way it keeps everything from spilling over and out of your bag because that would be super annoying, right? So that's nice. Okay. It's really pretty easy to get into. Like, if you're not a fan of the Speedies, okay, but you like the idea of an arm carrier little satchel bag and um, maybe you can't afford, you know, your budget doesn't allow for you to get a brand new, um, one of the newer styles of Louis Vuitton. The Alma PO is a good choice, okay, because you get a lot of bang for your buck with the Alma. And what's cool about it as compared to the Speedy bag is it opens up wide. Okay, the speedy bags. Now, I do love me some speedy bags, so don't hear me saying that I don't love speedy bags. I do, but let's be honest. You, they they don't open up very wide. Okay, even the bit, even as big as they get, it, they're still just like limited. I don't know. I like this. Like this opens up wide. It's easy to get in and out of. Um, you know, usually I'm a hot mess. I have like banana hands, and so I need my bags to be like friendly, like open friendly, if that makes sense. You know, like I, I just need that. Okay. And I don't have big hands, but I can be kind of like a bull in a china closet. So I, I really need for there to, I mean, like, look, like I really need for there to be room like this and it's easy. Okay. Um, okay. Inside is that is like a speedy bag, right? It's just the uncoated canvas, the brown, and then you have your slip pocket here, your date codes in here right there and you're all set. Okay. Now, some people, even though um, it doesn't have the cathedral hardware, some people will go ahead and put straps on their Almas and they're like, we don't care. We're going to do what we want. Do what you want. It's cool. I don't recommend it because I feel like it puts unnecessary stress on the chaps, causes them to get loose over time. That's me, but I'm not the boss of you. So if you want to, you know, you're like, well, I was trying to find an Alma, but this is in good condition. Uh, you have your whole little thing. I get it. Like, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay. Just whatever. 
Okay, so that's the Alma PM, and the price for it is price for the Alma is seven ninety nine. Okay, seven ninety nine. And again, it doesn't have the cathedral hardware. It's just just the regular satchel satchel bag. Okay. Uh, next item that is a consignment. Again, I am showing you a lot of consignment items today. It is the Louis Vuitton sack plat. Okay. Now this is a unique bag. I know if you're a Louis Vuitton lover, you've most likely seen it. Okay. Um, some people do actually carry it as a daily bag. You know, this is not a style that me personally, like I would carry as a daily bag, but I know a lot of people do. It's cute. It actually does have a lot of room. Um, I, I visualize the bag as more of a, I don't know, like a work bag maybe, but anyway, it is a consignment item. So all sales final. Um, there was something I was going to say about this bag. Um, this one in particular, if I remember right, does not actually have a date code. Okay. Um, the, I want you to see the style of it because it's an older style and it, you know, anyway. Okay. Let me show you the outside. It is in B plus condition because wait till you see the inside. The inside of these bags can be, they're all over the board. Sometimes you look inside, like on the, on the outside, it looks like a B condition. You open it up and it's like, what in the ghetto is it? Like you just, you don't ever know this one. The interior of this one is amazing. So hold on, stand by. So here's the outside. Everything about it looks good. There's not any piping or anything. It just kind of folds over. It has a very like utility construction. If that makes sense. You just have, um, yeah, you get a minor scuff here on the end. Okay. Now when I have minor scuffs like this on the ends, what I do is I mix a little bit of brown edge coat with a little bit of black edge coat. I get a, a Q-tip in there and I literally smack it, flip it, rub it down. Okay. Um, translated to, I just dab it. That's all I do. I just, just dab it right there and it's good. Yeah. Cause see this side, you could, it could use a small little dab right there. Boop, just literally, boop, that's it. This side doesn't need anything. It doesn't have anything. There's no pop stitching or anything either. There's no feet. Let's go to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Same thing. Look at that corner. Looks great. Yeah. I was going to say Mona Lisa, I was pretty sure that you were one of the people that I know uses your sack plat. Okay. This other side. So there's two corners that could use if it bothers you, you don't, it's not super noticeable and <laughs> you don't have to do anything. I know. Sorry for my life. I have a tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> That's all I need to do. Um, and I don't have to hold my, my, cover my mouth cause I'm in here alone. So it's fine. Um, and Elvis, well, Elvis is not in here, but she won't get sick. Okay. Yeah. So literally you just go dab, dab. That's it. That's all you do. And, um, but the canvas, other than that, like there's no pop stitching on this and any of the corners. I'm just showing you on both of the videos here. Let me turn it around. Look here. Look, see, oh, snap looks good okay you can see the chaps are good the patina is still pretty light chaps look good hardware looks good uh glazing is just i mean it's just smooth it's not i think it's rubbed down a little bit this side has a little bit of i don't know unevenness see like it's not super noticeable but i am just letting you know okay but check that you ready for the inside here we go um live on the app Oh, um, okay. Here's what you do, Janice. So to show you that I'm live on the app, click on, on the left menu, click on live shopping and, um, it should have the stream there. So you click on live shopping from the left and then today's date, and then they'll just say join and then just join. And then you can scroll across the bottom and you can see all the items that I'm showing. Um, and then of course, if you want to chat, you can click over on the right. There's a, a board, you know, a little bubble or whatever that's talking and not talking a conversation chat thing icon. But okay, here's the inside. Look at this. <gasps> oh my God. Are you serious? Like this is pretty amazing. Okay. Okay. So, but here's the deal. Now, even though right now you're looking at it, there is no sticky, there is no tacky and there is no flaky. Okay. No. But there is some bubbling that is visible up around the top. Like, see, there's some bubbling. And I want to bring that to your attention because if you started trying to put something in here that had some sharp edges, you might nick it. And there's some bubbling on the very bottom. I don't even know if you can actually tell. You're probably just going to see some wrinkling. But there is some bubbling 
on the bottom. So you would just need to be very mindful of that. Be careful. <laughs> Maybe not put sharp, ed sharp edges of books in there. Wait, did that make sense? Books with sharp edges in there, things like that. But there's your heat stamp. Here's your two pockets. I mean, to have an interior that looks like this is really amazing because they don't normally look like this. They normally look like, I don't know, they look like Armageddon or something. I don't know, they look crazy. But this looks good, all right? And and yeah, I mean, it could be a nice work bag. You know, you could stick your, oh, here, look. So here's a Chromebook, and this is a 13-inch Chromebook right here. So see, I could put this in here. It doesn't have sharp edges. And then, of course, my if I wanted to have like a little bag and I had my cords and whatnot, I could stick that in here and I'd be all set. And it would be a nice little, um, you know, this, maybe a spiral, a uh, little bag that has your pins and whatnot. Like it, I've, I just visualized this bag. You know, again, I know not everyone uses it as a work bag, but I visualize it as a work bag. I don't know why. It's almost like a different spin on a work satchel, like a briefcase. That's what I visualize it on. Okay, so, but again, it is going to be um, also final because it's consignment. And so the price of it is $10.95. $10.95, oh, and I forgot to tell you, um, when you check out, you have four installment options. You have Sezzle, you have Shop Pay, you have Afterpay, and you have Zip Pay. And I do recommend all of them, okay? It's a great, convenient way to check out. It's a way to buy a lot for a little. <laughs> So basically, you just take $10.95 divided by four, and for that amount, that first payment is all you pay today, and your item is shipped. Okay, so it's it's super convenient, and I recommend it to everyone. Okay, next is going to be. Oh yeah, this is the gang. Is it okay? I think you pronounce it gange, gang, 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 gang. That's what it is. It's the gang, gang. Uh, it's basically a twist on uh like a fanny pack okay it is a vintage item it's in b condition and i'll look and see why it's beacon i think it's because the patina is dark maybe that's why oh yeah the patina is dark and it's a little scuffed up here at the top uh the patina is like a caramel and then i'm going to show you this but this is a consignment item so all sales final make sure you want it this is a great little travel piece okay you want to be hands-free and you're you know you're going on vacay or something and you're going to go sightseeing and you don't have time to be you know, carrying your bag around and all this kind of stuff. This is a great, a great little piece. And I'm going to show you this really cool way that you can wear it. Um, okay, but here's how it looks on the outside. You have an outside slip pocket. The inside of this is the uh, uncoated canvas like a Speedy. Your date code is right over here. And I probably can't see it. I probably can't see what the year is. Um, 2004. Yeah, this is a 2004. Okay. Uh, but see, look, the patina is really dark, so that's one of the reasons why I gave it a bit. And then the top of the the piping right here, it is like it's it's scuffed. It's scuffed down. It's broken the surface. So I don't want to say exposed because there's nothing underneath it that's exposed, but it's it's split, okay? So the piping is kind of split up here at the top. You kind of see that, all right? And then, and then really the bottom too, like see like, see how you can just kind of see like it's just kind of split. So you can see that there, yeah, along the side, there's the top. So that's why it has a B rating, okay. Um, Janice, let me know if you were able to access the live based on the instructions I just, I gave you. Here's the back. Well, uh, no, I mean, it is, it doesn't need to be, I mean, I guess it doesn't need to be, it, it has been conditioned. I can, it's actually not cracking, but honestly, probably what happened was it probably cracked before someone got a hold of it and conditioned it. So like the crack, the damage had already been done, if that makes sense. But here's the back and it does have this swivel on it. Okay. And then this, this is, this just stays put. It's like attached to the bag like that. Okay. And you can adjust it. You would be able to adjust it and it does have a dual zipper, but you're going to want to wear it like you, because some people are like, oh, cool. I can wear it as, as a fanny pack. You, I mean, I guess you could, but you need to be careful because like, here's how the zipper goes. The zipper goes from the top just to the side. It doesn't go all the way down. It doesn't go like side to side. Hold on, Adrian. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's really meant to be upright like this. 
you can do this, but when you open it, you'll want to make sure that you're, you're careful. Here's the inside. Okay, you got your heat stamp. It's just all, you know, blank. This is nice and roomy, though. Like, definitely your phone, your keys, a small, you know, coin pouch, small wallet, um, card case, whatever. And you can adjust the zippers so that they're both, like, if you wanted to wear it around your waist, that way they're like this. But see, like, then you have this pocket here. So you would want to be very careful and make sure that whatever's in here, is, you know, you're not going to be doing this because then it tilts out. So what I recommend is just to wear it, you know, like this because you can access it easily. You've got your phone and you can, you can adjust it so that it's on the back and you can, you know, whatever. But basically like this, you can get in and out of it super easy right here. And then your zipper is such that it's not going to, um, you have control over it and you have control of everything inside because of the way that the zipper is, it's right here. Okay, so that's lean to the side, you know what I mean? So, okay, so this is the Pochette Gange, and the price of this bag, this cute little bag, is uh, $7.99, $7.99, and it is consignment. So again, all sales final, you better decide you want it before you purchase it, because you don't get to return it. And then on the hardware, it is the hardy brass, got Louis Vuitton embossed right there. And then it is going to be this cotton webbed, really hardy, thick strap. I mean, look how thick it is. It's really thick. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And again, it's consignment. It's also spinal. I think I said that. Just saying it again. Uh, what's next? What's next is, okay, this is a super cute little bag. And it is the Trueville. It's a Louis Vuitton Trueville. You may be familiar with the DeVille, okay? Louis Vuitton DeVille is one that, you know, used to be a toiletry bag. This is basically the little sister of the DeVille, the Trueville is. And uh, the DeVille is going to be like a Speedy 35. Again, it's one of those bags where if you're not really a fan of Speedy or you want a Speedy, but you want, or you want a satchel, but you want something with more, um, like, options as far as uh, organization stuff, yes, DeVille is it. It's, it's like the size of a Speedy 35, and it has the dual zipper. It's amazing. Um, same thing for this. The True Bill is going to be like a Speedy 30, and it's just a little guy, okay, like this. And this one is in good condition. Now, the patina does look a little bit darker, but everything is solid. Like, it's not exposed or anything on this one. Look here. Everything is even, even the leather that's right there on the top of that pocket. The patina is even, okay. And, yeah, this part, too. Like, sometimes, here's the thing about leather. So all leather is not the same, okay? Because not every cow is not the same, right? Or whatever the animal they get it from. Um, and so some leather, you know, sometimes like you'll see, like let's just say you have two true bills side by side. And one of them, the leather just seems a little more, I don't know, thick. I feel like this just is a thicker, this was a thicker hide. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of like the vibe I get. And because you have like thick, I don't know, it's just, it's amazing. The piping on this is just a little bit thicker. And then this part is what you want to make sure that's nice and secure. The you know where it, the hardware attaches. Here's the front. <laughs> Same thing. You want to make sure it does look like it's a little dry underneath here. So you can you can see that. See, nothing is is holding on by thread or anything. But you just would want to make sure that you're conditioning that. There's your heat stamp, uh, rolled handles. There's some cracking, and you can kind of feel it on the rolled handles but I would say overall I mean you can feel it but it's again this is a consignment bag and so the conditioning process and the cleaning process and all that that's already happened all right so this does open from side to side but because you know it's actually it was originally from the toilet like a toiletry bag um it doesn't have one of those little protector things like the Alma okay so definitely be careful when you're opening this one but here's the cool thing it has all these pockets, like the DeVille, like the big sister, okay? And so you've got those two huge pockets over here. So you don't have elastics in the Trueville. You have the elastics in the DeVille, but not the Trueville. And then on this side, you have um, pockets on, on both sides. Well, in the DeVille, you do too, but you also have elastics, but not here. Okay, it is dual zipper, as I mentioned. It's got a little more structure to it. And this one actually hasn't lost its shape. Usually these bags will be very evident of loss of shape right here. Like this will kind of dip in, but it's not awful. 
Okay. And, you know, again, like I mentioned, it does have the cathedral hardware on opposite sides. See it? There's that right there. And that way you can attach a strap and you're not putting any stress on it. Now, here's the thing. You can hold this by the hand like this. Um, it's going to be hard for you to do this because there's not very much room right here. So if you have a coat on, forget it. I mean, like this is going to be like maybe during the spring or summer when you have a short sleeve shirt on. And then you can do this, depending on the size of your arm. You may not even be able to do that then. And you have this outside slip pocket, okay? The date coat is in the description. It's inside one of the pockets in here, a little tab. Um, I do want to show you, though, that um, with this bag, it's it's sold separately. Well, let me tell you the prices back. So first of all, this is all sales final. It's the Truebill. It's the little sister of the DeVille. And the price of it is going to be... $6.99, okay? Now, I'm going to quickly advance over to, <coughs> excuse me, a strap. You could use this strap on this bag if you want to. It's sold separately, as I said. Now, the patina is 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 different. This is an older strap. The patina is darker. It does come with the swivel hooks that I got from um, the buckle guy. So, they're kind of different. They are brass, and they swivel, and they're just a different style. So that way you can actually attach this to this cathedral hardware and you can use this as this strap came off of a Noe bag, <coughs> excuse me. And so it's not going to be, you know, super long anyway. It is adjustable, but it came off of a Noe bag. You can tell, and you can take these little swivel hooks and you can switch them out if you want without, you can just unbuckle this. Okay. So now you've got this cute little shoulder bag. Now, again, the, the patina of this strap is, Quite a bit darker than what's on the uh, Truebill. It's a different shade altogether. But you can see this has, um, there's your stamp. This one, it is a vintage strap. So there's some cracking. There's some wrinkling. Um, it's it's definitely, you know, let me show you right here. Like where the swivel hook is. You can see that there's like some cracking and whatnot on it. Um, I don't think that it's going to just fall apart. And especially since you can only put so much in this bag. It's not going to be like super weighted down. But see, look, it's a, it's a Noe strap, so it's not really going to be crossbody, but it's a cute little size for um, to make it a shoulder bag. If you wanted to add this as an option, you can do that. And the price of this, this strap is, what is it? Uh, this strap is $169. Okay, it's $169. Now, I wanted to show you on the Alma, even though the Alma does not have, does not have the cathedral hardware, some people do like to add the, and I don't know if I mentioned the Truebill also has the dual zipper and you can add a padlock. It doesn't come with a padlock, but you can add the padlock. So anyway, what some people do is whenever they have Alma bags or any bag that doesn't have the cathedral hardware, they'll just attach the swivel hooks like right on here like this. And as I mentioned, personally, I don't recommend it just because over time it is going to, I mean, see, it doesn't, I don't know. It's just going to put, see how it's pulling it at, a, at such an angle. It's a slight angle. Okay, well, that is going to put stress on it over time. Okay, that's my opinion. You do whatever you want, but I am letting you know how it looks. And so you can see for yourself that it does kind of angle up just ever so slightly. But anyway, you can use this strap for whatever you want. And it is older. The patina is going to be of a caramel color. You can see that. Okay. Um, it does come with these brass swivel hooks. So... And it is consignment. This, this strap is consignment. So all sales final. Once you check out, you get an order number, you done. Okay. Okay, let's see what else is next. Um, I have two more items to show you, and they both are consignment. First one, I'm going to save the, the biggest for last. So next one is going to be this Mini Lynn Agenda. Mini Lynn Agenda PM. It's the blue. So you know how, like, it comes with, like, the green or the sepia, um, or the blue. This one is the blue, and it does come with a box. And again, it's the, so it's the uncoated canvas, and it's got the the, blue, the monograms in blue, the darker blue, and then the, the base of it is going to be a lighter blue. So the part that's, um, the monogram part, it looks like a denim blue, okay? So you have like this denim blue, that's what it looks like. Contrast stitching, which is really just your iconic yellow stitching. This is the PM, as I mentioned. There is no contrast, I mean, uh, no pop stitching at the top there or the bottom, okay, or any any corner. Really, it looks good on all, all corners, front and back, okay. 
Now the inside, is, the snap is snappy here, okay? Inside is the cross grain, like a tan. So look at that. You can put a pen or pencil here, not a regular pen or pencil. You need to search the Zebra Mini Pen on Amazon and that would fit. Okay, see so this cross grain leather, you have the slip pocket here and there's no, well, let's see, get that over there. No sticky flaky peeling in here. Looks nice. It does still come with the little LV ruler here and your little rings here are still nice and shiny. And let's just check to see if they're still, yes, they're still tight. <clears throat> and then you've got your three card holders here, heat stamp, slip pocket, no sticky flaky peeling back here either. It looks like it might start right. You probably can't even tell. It's like right. Ah. Okay, there's this one spot where you might see that later, but it's not anything that's that's actively happening now. Here's the outside. It's not even really dingy. Sometimes these mini limb pieces can be dingy because the you know it's uncoated canvas, so it's very susceptible to stains and whatnot. But this one doesn't have that. In all the corners here on the inside, up at the top and the bottom, they all are secure. The stitching, and so are these card holders. They are nice and secure. Those ends with the circles. Or not worn out or anything okay again it's consignment so all sales final on this and price of it is 195 195 for the mini lint agenda pm um with the blue and again it looks like the monogram is um oh yeah yeah you're right kim you can actually get any kind of innards or anything for your agenda etsy or amazon for sure um that's what I need to add to my Amazon link is some recommendations for the agendas. I wasn't even thinking about that. Okay. But yeah, so this definitely is a good piece in good condition. You know, normally you're, you are going to see some staining and whatnot and, and you can't clean it. I'm just saying you sometimes on that piece, it's hard to get that out right away. All right. So next up, which is going to be the best, saving the best for last, or maybe I should say the biggest for, for last. And it is the Louis Vuitton carry-all. Now, if you follow Louis Vuitton actively, then you know they have a new model of a carry-all bag, which is in anything like this bag. This is like a travel piece. Um, the new carry-all bag that they have, you know, they recycle names. Louis Vuitton recycles their bag names, which drives me crazy, but they do. And, um, I mean, whatever. So, this is the original carry-all. It is a travel piece, unless you just cuckoo for cocoa puffs over big bags and you wanted to use it as a daily bag i bought it years ago to not this one but one like it to carry with the intention of carrying it as a daily bag because i love the organization of it it was just too big it was too it's really like more it's closer to like a keep off in fact i have sorry it's closer to a keep off 45. i have a video on my channel <coughs> where i am comparing the carry all this one a keep all 45 and one more bag there's three bags that I was that I was um, comparing. I like this over a Keep All 45 because of the organization. Um, it opens really wide. Okay, it's not just limited to the top. Okay, so it goes down about halfway on either side. I like how there are pockets on either side. Okay, it is nice pockets. You can throw your keys. You can throw your phone. This is a great travel bag. Again, unless you are like a big boss bag, you know, want to carry bigger the better, do it. I tried it. It was too big for me um, to do on a daily basis. I don't really carry that much, especially now. My kids are older. I don't need it. I don't really carry all their junk anymore. Sometimes they might throw a thing or two, but they do their own thing now. So I don't really need that. I don't have as much stuff to justify having such a big bag for a daily bag. But anyway, this is it. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so you do have a couple of little stains on the Vachetta. The Vachetta is very light. It does come with this luggage tag and this uh, strap keeper right here. Um, you have the bubbly rivets. The rivets are a bit tarnished. It's funny because it's not an old bag, but the, the rivets are tarnished, okay, and, and the feet too, and I'll show you. See, look, I'm surprised, especially compared to the rest of the hardware. Look at the hardware of this. It's still really shiny. But if you go down here and look at the feet, it's pretty tarnished. So anyway, I don't know why that is. Okay, so the bubbly rivets right here, they look good. Uh, the vachetta is all even. You have a couple little stains, like water stains or liquid stains right here. It's nothing major, but I'm just bringing it to your attention. 
Same over here on the side. You can see a little bit of just, you know, liquid stains, whatnot. It's nothing major at all. Here's your heat stamp on this one. The hardware of the zipper is still really light. You do have just some superficial scuffing on the corners. There's corner one. Here is corner two. Corner three. And corner four. Okay, again, you have the feet. It's pretty structured. Why not? I mean, it's not, you can feel that there is a structured piece at, this, at the bottom of this bag. Okay, it has nice, okay, so a couple things. Nice um, rolled handles and they're, they're bigger. Also, the handles are spaced far apart, which makes it easier to get over, you know, your arm when you have a jacket on and things like that. Um, the one thing that it doesn't have that would be very helpful is there's no like hooks, I mean, uh, places for you, like D-rings, for you to add a strap. It would be nice to have a strap option, like some sort of bando option. Um, it has this nice big slip pocket over here in the back that would fit at least two zip, you know, full-size wallets. Your date code is in here. This is from 2007, All right? Yeah, 2007. Um, your heat stamp, your other heat stamp is right here. Right there, see that? Okay, and that's all the organization you have on the inside. And then, of course, it's like the inside of a speedy bag. I mean, I don't know if you're drooling over it like I am as far as I love how wide it opens, like the zippers, okay? And it is a dual zipper, okay? This is definitely a premier investment. They do not make this bag anymore. They have new key balls, and the new key ball styles or like shoulder bags, and they're cute. They are actually are really cute. Um, hang on, I want to see. I'm gonna get this now. This side, this, this side of the zipper seemed a little stiff. Um, of course, you want to go ahead and try to find you a padlock. It doesn't come with a padlock, but of course, it's meant to have one. Okay, because it has the dual zipper up here. There's the other one, and they are oversized zipper pulls. In case you're wondering. Okay, so like I said, it's not a shoulder bag. It's definitely gonna be a travel. If you want a full review. Go to my channel, that crazy handbag lady, and just search carry all, and you'll you'll see it. Oh, and by the way, here's this little stain here. This little stain. I mean, because you know, I said I've said this now for a couple of other items on consignment bags. Nine times out of ten, they've already been cleaned, they've already been conditioned. You can just get it and go. Okay, you can get it and start using it. If you want to add more work and start, you know, doing that right away, you can. Um, but like for something like this with this darker stain. I think you're going to do more harm than good if you're going to start dorking around with it. I think you should leave it alone. Okay. It already has a very nice sheen. Oh yeah. Cause it's the rolled handle. There's like a water stain or something right here. Okay. You might be able to clean this gently, but see, look, the patina is so light already and has a nice sheen. You're just going to mess it up. <laughs> just leave it alone. That's what I say. I mean, you do you, but I'm saying leave it alone. There's the glazing on those sides here. Okay. Woo, what a nice bag. And I, I really wish that I would have been able to pull it off as a daily bag. I mean, it's nice. It's a boss bag for sure. I don't have the lifestyle such that I need this big a bag. Like, there was a time when I, I probably could have gotten away with it because I was doing, you know, I just had more going on with the kids. I don't know. But I don't really need this big a bag now. I mean, the bag that I have now, that that uh, Gucci bag, did I bring it in here to show you guys? Oh, no, it's out there. I showed up the other day. I'm using another Gucci Air Prime bag, and it's big enough. I mean, it's really big enough. Um, okay, yeah, so the price of this Louis Vuitton carry-all is $12.99. Again, for a full review, go to my channel, and then just search carry-all, and you can see what the full review is. And I do have a, I think there's one by itself of the carry-all, and then also um, a comparison with the, key, there's, there's three bags total. There's the, what are they? It's the Keepall 45, the Carry All, and some other bag. There's three bags that I did a, a comparison on, and they're all very similar in, in size. So, anyway. Okay, so come back, same time, same place, on Wednesday, noon Eastern time. If you have not already downloaded my mobile app, that is the most convenient way to shop. That Crazy Handbag Lady is the name of my app. It's in Google Store. It's in App. And um, turn on your push notifications. Opt in for the, the live sale text alerts. If you get annoyed at any time on the push notifications or the text alerts, unsubscribe. That's it, okay? It's just, they are, those, those features are not meant to annoy you. 
Okay, they're supposed to make you happy and excited and encourage you and be like, oh, like be a friendly reminder. If at any point it's annoying, turn it off. Okay, because that's not what we're trying to do here. Okay, so anyway, uh, text the word VIP to this phone number. Ready? 360 300 5308. If you don't remember anything else about what I've said today, just go to my website. All the information you need to stay connected with me and all my content is on my website, thatcrazyhandbaglady.com, okay? So if you um, have any questions, you know where to reach me, the fastest way is through Facebook Messenger. You can email, but it's just usually faster through Messenger. Um, and then I'll plan on seeing you guys on Wednesday, same time, same place. Okay, bye.